I was fascinated by, uh, I mean, I, 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 I've been to all of those cities except Mumbai. Uh, and the feeling that you get, that this is maybe especially acute in, in Shanghai, is uh, of this kind of Mobius strip of time. You know, So you've got uh, absolutely cutting edge futuristic architecture, stuff that looks like it's been downloaded from the sky. You know, And then uh, you've got traditional Chinese two-story um, buildings, home buildings, and you've got the, the Art Deco stuff on the boon that's in between. And it just keeps kind of twisting and twisting in, uh, in upon itself. And yet somehow that feels like uh, what cities are, are going to be like. I mean, uh, maybe, maybe as a way to focus the question I have, uh, contrast that feeling in Shanghai and Dubai as a, as a kind of um, almost entirely invented place. Right? Even St. Petersburg, I know that, that uh, you know, the Tsar wanted to model it on Amsterdam and make it a kind of um, capital city, but it's still you know, organic in a way to, to Russian culture. Um, Dubai feels like, you know, the kind of thing that you would do if you were a kid, you know, you sit around and clear a space on, in the backyard or on a table and sort of invent a city. Well, they, uh, I like this idea of the, the Mobius strip of time, particularly in, in Shanghai. What you're experiencing in Shanghai is um, several booms at once. You're, you're experiencing the remnants of the the boom of, of the initial boom of the uh, from the 1800s, and then these deco buildings from the boom of the 1920s and 30s, and now all these buildings today the boom of the, from 1991 or so to the present. Um, so you're you're and in sort of the richest cities as an urban experience, you have these you you have these pieces of of different city, but because of the sort of economics of architecture and and real estate, you you get generally the greatest hits of, of each boom period. Um, a city like Dubai, as you point out, is, is totally new and feels completely futuristic, but part of what I uh, want the reader to come away with is that the snapshot we're getting of Dubai is what it would have felt like to visit St. Petersburg in, say, 1710, where you have all of these Amsterdam-style buildings drop down, designed by architects imported from Amsterdam um, and this very today in, ultimately St. Petersburg feels like a part of Russia to a, to, a, to a degree and maybe in 300 years Dubai will feel more like a, an integral part of the Arab world where it's, where it's cited but um, I think in this initial phase these cities all at one point felt like a Disney world uh, and I like to highlight uh, in telling their stories Different visitors visiting the, peri- the, the cities at all these in all these boom periods, and having similar reactions about how they feel fake or how just how cosmopolitan they are. That, that linguistically, uh, socially, there's in Mumbai. There's a French traveler who goes in 1850 and says, "I feel like I'm at the Tower of Babel in the markets of Bombay." <laughs>